On August 8, 2022, James Jackson went missing out of Illinois. Was last seen on August 8th in Calumet Park. He was driving a white Ford cargo van. Their story, thanks to a team of civilian divers, the group discovered the 71 year old man's body this weekend at the bottom of the Calumet River. The East 100th Street Bridge, we're going to check this on both sides. We want to make sure that he is safe. We need him to come home. A dive team made up of civilians. After three days of searching the Calumet River, the last pinged location on Jackson's cell phone. On August 8th, 2022, James Jackson went missing out of Illinois. Chicago families are coming together to call attention to missing family members. The families gathered with Chicago Alderman David Moore at Foster Park on the south side, asking for the public's help. 69-year-old James Jackson has been battling dementia, was last seen on August 8th in Calumet Park. He was driving a white Ford cargo van. Two families whose family member has been missing for over two weeks but yet nothing has been said. And so we just want to bring attention because this is the importance of bringing attention to all missing families. We want to make sure that he is safe. We need him to come home. His grandkids need him, but I need him. This just, we just want to, somebody, please, please help us find him. And we are here today at the Calumet River to try to see if we can locate his vehicle. We actually did search yesterday. If you guys want to see the video, the link will be down in the description below. But we were able to find 10 vehicles, get the license plate off one, and it was a great day of searching. We really covered a lot of water. So today we're gonna to be searching the north section of the Calumet River. I'm joined by Eric from Ride or Dive and also Chaos Divers. Right behind me here is Lake Michigan, which feeds into the Calumet River. Um, as you can see, we're right by the boat ramp, but you can see right here that there's some sort of sunken boat right here. We're not searching for that today. We're going to be searching for cars, but hopefully we'll be able to find the car today. With that said, let's get in the boat and see what we can find. Eric from Ride or Dive is going to be the first one to dive. Um, on the vehicles. The water is crystal clear. It's cool. It'll be a good dive. Yep. So I'm excited for the opportunity. Can't wait to find some cars. All right, guys, so we are just put into the water there at the Calumet Park. We're gonna go up the upper part of Calumet River. So let's get started. We're gonna go up to Little Calumet. If he would have turned off in confusion, he could have went over to this side. So we're gonna, we're gonna get it checked out, make sure we cover all of our bases, and then the Chicago River's next. All right, this is the beginning of the Calumet River from Lake Michigan. This doesn't look like it has one. Good God. But I thought I lost everything. Looks like a vehicle right there. Kind of pile the rocks, so. though. All right, so we're just now going over 92nd Street. Uh, it looks like a drawbridge. It is a steel bridge, but I want to check around it check all these areas, make sure a car didn't go off the side of it. This is a potential to have Mr. Jackson here. You know, he did suffer from dementia. We'll get everything checked out. Um, so yes, the water is clear, but it's also 25 feet deep. So you're probably not gonna be able to see a car if it did indeed go off here. It's, the Great Lakes, it's super cold, so not a lot of bacteria grows in it. There's not a lot of things that get as deep as this river or this lake is, so it doesn't start up the bottom. Usually never gets warmer than 70-ish degrees. Lake Michigan's pretty similar. All right, so we're at Route 20 Bridge. This is also another drawbridge. I think every one of these bridges down here are drawbridges. Uh, Already went through one side, now we're gonna go to the other. Let's check everything out. I doubt that he's on this side because of all the big fencing. He's only been missing 11 months, so, I mean, unless they repaired it, I don't see him going in here, but we, uh, we just need to check it. We need to check every possibility, because you just never know. All right, that's pretty well clear, and they can't get behind the uh, 
building there. So. Process of elimination. It's nice and slow. We haven't found a vehicle yet. All sides of the uh, bridge are searched on I-20. We still have a lot of this Calumet River to search. I mean, it goes down for miles. So we'll just go down it. And if Mr. Jackson's in here, we'll find him. East 100th Street Bridge. We're going to check this on both sides. It doesn't look like there's any access being these big fences. This does seem like it could have possibility of having vehicles in here. There's a scrap yard here. You can see we're right here and these roads here all in this cove you get really easy access back to main roads. So it's something that needs to at least be looked at. There's a little cutout that has road access behind these warehouses so we're just checking this little small area out here and then we're gonna head further down. This is all construction area, which can have access, but the likelihood of them having a big old fence is probably pretty, uh, pretty likely, yeah. Check for these poles that are broke, like this one right here. True indication of something going through there. Check for breaks in the walls, check for concrete breaks, check for clues that could potentially have a vehicle. Upside down car. Just found next to this one right here. Can you guys see that car right there? It is right next to that one, right out there. So Eric's gonna suit up and dive. You need the live scan running. Yes, sir. Is it down or? It's hot. I don't know where it's at now. We're going to go right over. So. Not yet. No, that's a truck. There's, so there's a truck here, and then there's a car upside down. Looks like an old school truck, or it could possibly be a van. Uh, 23 feet. Right 23 here. feet. Now we're at 13 feet. Oh, that, that's fine. I just can't get over it. I know where it's at. It's just every time I try to get on it, I can't get it. Is it really, really heavy, Lindsay? Do not move it. Do not move it. Do not move it. Maybe uh, right on it. That's the upside down car. Should be hitting it right now. There's actually three vehicles here, I think. If I had to take a guess, it's either a van or it's a full-size truck. We just, I'm not getting a shadow of. So you're on that one. There she is. She's got it. Um, the truck looked like it's been there for a while. There's two buoys, but these are marking two vehicles that we just found um, in the Calumet River. Just happened to see this vehicle on the side of this embankment right here. I mean, it's a completely dilapidated, completely destroyed vehicle, but it's just sitting on the side right here, and we were able to find two cars out there, so.
couldn't get to anything. Everything was submerged. I tried to find the freight in the front. Nothing in the vehicle? Not that I could see. It was buried. This, this is what you saw everywhere. I don't have no... Don't pull. Jesus. Well, you know where everybody's fishing at. There's where the license plate was. This one, I don't know if you can see from where you're at. The, the ropes. It's way over here. So go swim out here. See where the rope is? Yeah. You didn't put the rope, it didn't have a clip on it for the rope. I'm still at 22.75. license plate. It felt like paper. It just ripped out. Ripped out. That's the driver's side mirror. Right, let's get him out of the water. I just had to get what I got off the back. So you can see all the way around it, but you get anywhere close to it, it just kicks up dirt. There is a car here on the 130th bridge on the back side of it. All right, we just went over top of it. got into the water he's gonna be diving on our third vehicle of the day um, he actually just ascended now so we're gonna see what this car is hopefully we'll be able to bring up a license plate a lot of these cars have been covered in zebra mussels so um, it's gonna be hard to get any details but we'll see what we can do like an old railway car. An old railroad car? It was cool, it was definitely solid metal. Saw some cool fish. here for the next two or three days searching for James Jackson. Uh, Eric was able to dive on a ton of cars today and, and was nice enough to provide us with that underwater footage. So if you'd like to check out his channel at Ride or Dive, I will have a link in the description below.
Today I'm joined again by the one and only Chaos Divers. Tell the viewers a little bit about uh, the whole experience. It was miserable. I first kidney stone I think I've ever had and uh, I didn't like any, any second of it. It was bad. So he's back out on the water. We're searching again. Hopefully today we'll find some cars, be able to dive on them, and potentially bring some answers to this case. Let's see what we can find. There's a car right there. There it is. There's a car. It's a van. So that's definitely um, newer, and it does definitely look like a van. There's something else right there. Yes. Now there's two vehicles. Which one's the SUV? You should see it in your diving Yes, get suited up. Yeah, get suited up. Potential two vehicles here. Depths of history is getting suited up, so we're definitely going to be diving on them and clearing them. Just came off of it. Go the other way. It should be all over it. Five feet off the back of it. Okay, keep just raise it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like two feet. No, All right, right, now just lay it there. Just keep it there. Just keep it right there. Don't move it. I'm gonna drag you on top of the car now. All right, Lindsay, drop it. Drop it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like five more feet, Lindsay. You're almost on it. You're almost on it. You're on it. You should be right on top of it. Guys, this is a huge possibility. I don't know if it is or not, but I know I know for a fact it's a van. Just hope it's his van. I won't. We found Mr. Jackson. He's inside of the vehicle in the front seat, buckled up. Good job. CQC. Good job. 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 Good job.
job, Britt. He's in the front seat. Good job. Get out of the water, buddy. Oh, my God. Good job, Britt. Come on. Oh, my God. We have confirmation it is this vehicle. He's in the front seat. Okay. I saw him. Good job. Get all of the police, Lindsay. You okay? Yeah. It was so visible. Okay. It just, I wasn't expecting it. You made sure that he was in there? He's in there 100%. I saw him in the front. Okay. All the windows are down, so. And he's buckled up? He's buckled up in the seat. Okay. All right, let's get your mask off. Okay. You okay? I'm, I'm so, I'm so glad we did this, man. Good, good job, buddy. You did a good job. Thank you. Family has answers now, you know what I mean? So, was the van able to be... The van, it, it flipped, so when it went off here, it flipped. The back side is facing this way. Okay. It's going to be an easy pull. So, it won't be able to get onto the tires? Yes. Um, now, he's sitting in the front seat, he... Well, he's, he's in he's, there. He's in there. Okay. Yeah, so, so. Um, we'll call law enforcement, get him out here, we'll get it rigged up. If we, if we do it, if we don't, we'll have, you know, their team do it. Whatever the case may be, we'll bring him home today. Well, guys, I don't know what to say on this other than uh, to the family of James Jackson, I'm sorry. Yeah, but he's brought home. After I brought the license plate up, I was filled with so many emotions. We decided to call the police, and they ended up sending their fire department, ambulances, and they even had a helicopter in the air. When the police arrived, they were very receptive to what we were trying to describe to them. We basically told them that the vehicle was faced towards the shore, it had turned around at its point of impact, and we knew the method that we were going to take to get the vehicle out of the water. After nearly a year of searching, a Chicago family finally has answers about their missing father. This is quite a story. Thanks to a team of civilian divers, the group discovered a 71-year-old man's body this weekend at the bottom of the Calumet River. Only on two now, our Sabrina Franza speaks with the man's family and the divers who found him. Girl's first love is her dad. He was just kind of like the first person who ever showed me love, like from a male's perspective. Kiana Jackson's father disappeared 11 months ago. James Jackson was 71 years old. A deacon at church, god man. A father of three and grandfather of four. And I just like, no. No, like, no, 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 no. The Jackson family knew something was wrong. After there was no sign of him for months, they enlisted help, a dive team made up of civilians. After three days of searching the Calumet River, the last pinged location on Jackson's cell phone, Britton Lockhart found his car. Dove down, noticed that the vehicle was white, made my way to the driver's side window, noticed that Mr. Jackson was inside. They called first responders.
I want to give my heartfelt condolences to James Jackson's family. I know this is a very hard time for them, and as they navigate through these struggles, I hope that they find light in the situation and that they have answers now. As many of you know, we were given these tiny stone carved angels to leave in the place where we find someone. With Britton being the diver yesterday, we're going to give him the honor of placing the angel in the water where we found Mr. Jackson. Thank you so much for supporting what we do, and rest in peace, Mr. Jackson. Weird case, I mean, the car and her go missing. I've seen. Depths of History dedicates its time to helping families with lost loved ones. We actively collaborate with others across the East Coast area to better serve those families. One way you can support us so families can get our support is checking out the link in my description. In there I have shirts and other products you can purchase that go directly towards helping the cause. It's a way you can help me and also get something back. Thank you all for being so supportive. Thank you.